Yep. All right, let's get started. Let's start with the books I've gotten from Book Outlet. First one is this, um, an old book, but I've it's been on my list for a long time. Uh, Camilla Derrico's uh, Pop Manga Coloring Book. And I just love her illustrations. Um, I have her most recent books, but not this one. Because I think, I believe this is probably the first book. Yeah, 2016. Uh, the first book she um, published, I think. Um, I don't know why that says Walmart, but I did not get it from Walmart. I got it from Book Outlet. So, all right. Next, I got this Birds in Watercolor Collage and Ink. This is very, very interesting because I, I would like to do more collaging. And this is just very creative um, way of collaging and just, uh, I guess, especially um, for the subject matter for, for birds. So I'm very excited to look through the this book. Yeah. And this book is by mm, Janine D. Zlatkes. So sticking with the collage uh, theme, um, this If You Can Cut, You Can Collage by Holly Chastain from Paper Scraps to Works of Art. So this is a very fun and just interesting um, way to collage. And just, they just did different exercises, mixing elements um, and I guess guide on like depth, <laughs> depth of field, I guess. Um, you know, if, you're, if it's smaller, it's probably further away. So proportion and scale, just techniques. So principles of composition. Yeah, I'm really excited about this book. So I can learn about collaging more. Next is Get Messy Art. The no rules, no judgment, no pressure approach to making art. Yes, I love it. Create with watercolor, acrylics, markers, inks, and more by Kaylee Gray. And this is um, talking about art journal, <laughs> the anti-supply list, um, magic of habit, Creating your messy journal. So, yeah, this is very interesting. I, I want to learn more, I guess. Um, it's good to get messy. <laughs> My tendency is, is not to get messy, but that's what's fun about art is to get messy and make mistakes and do different things. So, okay, so that's Get Messy Art. This next book is called Drawing and Painting Expressive Little Faces by Amaryllis Henderson. Um, explore watercolor, inks, markers, and more. So I think this is more about how to uh, draw and paint um, human faces, building a face, simplifying the face. <laughs> so that's very, um, it's something I want to learn more because drawing humans' um, features, I guess, it's not my forte. Uh, so I, and this looks like it's really fun. So I want to learn more about this. Um, oh, and also, I guess colors, uh, like skin tone, colors to use for 
um, painting skin tone and things, painting human skins, so skin colors. So yeah, that's expressive little faces. And the next one is Expressive Little Animals by same uh, Amaryllis Henderson. Uh, and this is just, just so cute. Look at all these animals. It's like the, the basics of drawing and, and also painting. Look at that, lions and cold-blooded creatures. Panda. Barnyard animals. Yeah, this is so cute. I can't wait to, uh, to try them. And last but not least from Book Outlet, is the Get Up and Gouache by Jessica Smith. Unleash your creativity with 20 painting projects. Um, I want to learn more about gouache. It's uh, a medium I'm very curious um, with. And, you know, I've been playing with it and, pra uh, and practicing, um, but I'm definitely more comfortable with watercolors than with gouache. But I really love the, I don't know, like the graphic uh, nature of it. Like the, I don't know, it just looks very straightforward and graphic. And I love this. I, I think you've, I've said it before, I love folk art. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this looks, look at those stylized, like it's just very stylized. Um, way of, of painting, I think. At least uh, most of the um, gouache artists that I've uh, seen on social media, online. So, yeah, very excited for this. Okay, so let's switch it up a bit. So let's get some supplies um, first. Okay, the first one is, these are going to be um, supplies I got from Amazon. So the first one is right here is, <laughs> I'm, I found this video, I'll um, put it in the description below, of how to set up, um, I guess not, I guess it is plein air. Um, I'm not much of a plein air painter, but um, I would like to be able to have some kind of setup if I want to either coloring or do a just relaxing outside. Um, I don't need like the, you know, plein air setup with the tripod and everything, but somebody set up this using just a simple, sorry about the glare um simple uh what do you call this clipboard so i found uh this on amazon and and then they also use this uh i believe this is supposed to be for oil painting you know to for your turpentine and stuff but they use this for the water to clean your brush and and this comes with a clip so that's very handy and what um what i saw in the video was this is clipped on here so that will be your water and i got this um I mean, this is plenty, but uh, a bag of clip, magnetic clip. And if you flip it like that, you can, you probably can just use two um, if you need to. Um, you can just, because this is metal, you can just put your paint, um, your clip it like this. Yeah. 
you can just flip this and that becomes your uh, palette. And this, you, you can do however many clip, I guess you want. Um, but two are to hold your paint palette. Um, you can use this um, maybe to hold your to hold your paper towel like that and then you can put your piece of paper or um, uh, what do you call it uh, sketch your book or something here and you can clip it here what um, what I saw also in another video was instead of having a sketchbook, um, the person just have pieces of watercolor paper and stick it here. So that way you don't have this thick sketchbook to carry it around. You can just have um, pieces of watercolor paper and go that way. So yeah, I thought this was a very cool idea. And because of that, I also got this um, bead and watercolor paper, the cold press. This is the smallest size, uh, seven by five. Um, it was on sale, I believe, when I can't remember if it was the Prime Day or the Black Friday, Cyber Monday time. I can't remember which one. Um, but this is, look at this, this is perfect size for here. I can just rip some of them. I know this is a block, but I can just, you know, take a couple of pieces of paper and stick it in here and go that way. So, yeah. So this is my new watercolor toys I'm, um, I want to play with. So, all right, next, um, since we're talking about watercolor, I have been wanting this uh, Paul Rubens um, watercolor set for a long time. And they were really a good price. Uh, I think it was during Black Friday or, yeah, I think it was Black Friday. So I got the 48 colors. <laughs> I know we don't need this many fit. Um, and I don't need any more new palettes, but, you know. Um... The want monster <laughs> was working very hard. So yeah, so these are the 48 colors. I need to set this up, open them up uh, and then swatch them. And yeah, so this is the regular um, palette, the 48 regular. And I also got the metallic 48 color metallic set come on oh all right let's see same thing and these are the metallic colors so i just love the idea of having like one um, dedicated uh, palette for regular watercolors and one for metallic. So yeah, I can't wait to open these up and swatch them and start playing with them. So, all right, next is this um, jelly gouache. <laughs> I trust uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, and this is the brand that she uh, what uh, out of all the jelly gouache, um, she loves this brand the most. And I got the 56 color one because that was the first one um, that came out from this brand. And then they came up with this 24 color uh, jelly gouache. So I can't wait to unbox this and take everything out. <laughs> and see, it's actually the other way around, um, and see what, what I can play, um, what I can play with. I know that I want to try this one method of how to keep the jelly gouache 
um, creamy because I know they tend to get dry. But this, the reason this set is good is because it comes with this uh, foam on the lid. You can't really take it out because it's actually glued to the lid. And I think this will keep the jelly gouache um, uh, moist. Um, but I just want, wanted to make sure I want to try one thing that I've seen. Um, and also to spray them with the um, a mixture of, like, I believe it was water, alcohol, and uh, glycerin. I need to rewatch the video that Lindsay did. Um, uh, how to keep your gouache from um, getting moldy to spray them with, with that mixture. So, all right. All right. So last but not least, this is the um, last, not, <laughs> last but not least from Amazon. This is the Ohuhu Extra Wide Art Markers. I wanted to try this and this box is really handy. Look at, you can fold this and that will become a stand. Isn't that cool? Um, so these are the wide markers. Okay, so that's the extra wide art markers and I wanted to get these because um, it's easier to color the background when I'm using um, alcohol marker uh, when I have, you know, this big uh, nib like this instead of the brush tip. And I got the one uh, set that have uh, more, like, more like a mixture of you know, green and it says May green moss, uh, pale grace blue, smoky blue, hazelnut, and leather. So it's kind of a, a mix um, that I can try, you know, like for sky and foliage and stuff. So, and this came with the, um, uh, with the pack. And I think you can swipe the color there like that. And you can put it on top here and the bottom. So yeah, so I'm very excited to try this. And look at this packaging right here. It has foam inside. And so this is not gonna move anywhere. This is great job, oh hoo hoo, really. This is really next level of packaging. Love it. All right, all right, next. Uh, supplies, set of supplies are from Blick. This is the oil pastel fixative, the um, Sennelier oil pastel uh, fixative. I wanted to play with oil pastels more uh, just to to see. I mean, I, I mean, I used them when <laughs> as a little kid and I forgot how fun they are. So I wanted to uh, get back to them and just play. And uh, so this would be good to cover the page so it won't smear and uh, get to the page next to it. So, okay, so that's the first one from Blick. Next, I got these, um, Two new uh, Princeton Velvet Touch. These are the, I believe this is the new um, one. This is the long handle. It's called the Bloom uh, Brush. Um, and I also get the number eight uh, Filbert. And I love Velvet Touch line. I, um, so, and I wanted to try, I, I saw this on Jenna Rainey's um, channel. I think she's the one who, <laughs> Um, either created this or collaborate with Princeton and came up with this brush. Um, but I wanted to try this and like the way uh, this brush produces like such beautiful, uh, beautiful flowers and 
that's really the reason I got this. Um, but I, I love Velvet Touch line already. So if you saw my last video on the 15 beginner tips on watercolor for coloring, um, I highly recommend this Velvet Touch line. So next one is the uh, Tombow um, water-based um, marker. I have the old, I think it was 96 set that I bought, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. And it, back in the day, it, they came, all of the set, if you get the full 90s, I believe it was 96 colors, um, it, the markers came in this like a gray um, stand, but it's, it's going to be like your marker is going to be vertical on it. But these markers are supposed to be laid flat. Um, so I never really upgraded my <laughs> tumble markers. I, you know, used those 96 um, until now. And so I got the, the colors that are missing from my, I think now it's 108, I believe. Um, so now I have all the colors and I got this case. So these are all the markers I had for 10 years. I've been, I've, you know, I have for 10 years. So now I got this new, the, I think it's a desktop. I think it's called desktop um, case. And I just love how this looks. So um, let's see if I can switch my camera here for a second. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna have to handheld my camera here for a second. Um, so this, is how you pull these out. Isn't this cool? I love this so much. And all of these empty slots are what my new, um, these new Tombow markers I got that I have not gotten for whatever, 10 years um, since, I don't know when they um, added the new colors, but uh, now we can, fill those holes in. So I love this uh, new case I have here. Oh, I completely forgot about uh, two things from Amazon that I got. Um, in the excitement <laughs> of the Tumble markers, I got these um, uh, watercolor brushes, um, actually this too. And I saw these um, on Lindsay, the Frugal Crafters uh, channel. She highly recommend these uh, new um, brushes. It's a synthetic squirrel brushes. So I'll be using them mostly for watercolor. Um, can I leave this? Yeah. Uh, so they come in these like tube and this velvet bag and and you have different sizes and shapes like the cat's tongue. I don't know, you can't really see it because of the plastics. Um, and then, so that's the, the big set. And then I also got the this two synthetic uh, squirrel quill brushes. So the quill is much thirstier brushes than the regular, uh, those, those regular brushes. And I just want to keep practicing with um, watercolor just 
yeah so any any type of uh and i've this is probably yeah this is this is these are my first coil brushes i never tried them before so um and it's a really coil brushes tend to be expensive um so and this is a really good um value i think so i really wanted to try them so so i got these new brushes also from amazon okay so those are all the supplies and now we're going give me one second My order from Blake is here. All right, this is perfect timing. So we'll open it together. All right, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe this package uh, gets here right on time as we are going through the supplies. All right, so let's open this up. Um, what we have all righty i'm gonna let's go small to bigger i guess um so i got this um uh wax stick uh this is i mean from brusho uh brand it's pretty much um i mean Yes, I know. You can probably use candles <laughs> uh, with this instead of buying this um, this wax stick. But it's a very convenient size. You know, it's easier to handle than, you know, holding a gigantic uh, candle to um, put on your watercolor paper. So, okay. So what this is for is to... If you don't want to use drawing gum to reserve the white area on your watercolor paper when you're painting, um, you can also use wax. And I've seen some people actually using crayons um, to put in an actual color instead of just white. So what you can do is actually draw the pattern or area or dots whatever whatever you want on your paper and because it's made of wax when you put color on it it will repel the the paint so that's why i bought this so so that's the first one um next is the ink tens paint pen set number two um I probably have, you probably have seen me use the uh, Intense Paint pen set number one, this one right here. Um, and I want to get number two because this one actually have the, um, the white uh, on it. And white, um, whoa, glare, glare. Um, white uh, paint pen, uh, ink tens uh, paint pen is actually very useful in uh, fixing an ink, ink tent mistake. And I'll, I'll link the video where I show you how to fix an ink tense mistake using the white, either the block or this uh, paint pen. So I am really excited that I got this. Um, so I usually take the small pens when I'm out on, you know, outside, col either coloring or painting on the go. Um, but I wanted to get this as a studio set. So I can use this at home and I can have the paint pen instead of have it opening two of them, 
I can have it all in one set. Oh yeah, that is very satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna, so not too much glare there. Um, this is, uh, it comes, it has this plastic cover on it. Um, so it has all the, I think it's a combo, combination of both the paint number one and number two. I might be mistaken on that. Um, but I believe this is the combo of both. Um, but I really glad. I think I love, I love ink tents. Don't get me wrong. I, you saw me have the uh, pencils. Um, but having a pencil and then I have to, um, dissolve it with water. It's like a two-step thing. And I just love to be able to <laughs> grab paint from, um, the palette and put it on the paper and, you know, at once. Um, so that's why I always love to have palettes. I have so many watercolor and palettes and set and <laughs> stuff. I don't need any more, but here we are. So, all right. I am so very excited about this one. And the last item I've been wanting, this item has been on my list for so long. Um, this is the Quirk Take Danzai Tambi um, watercolor paints, the new Art Nouveau colors. Um, it's pretty much been out of, I mean, been back order on Blick for a long time. Every time I go, it's always been back ordered. And the other day, I just happened to go there looking at some gouache and I saw that this was in stock. And I immediately got them. Um, on Amazon, is the price is pretty high. It's probably about, I can't remember if it was, for a while it was about 40 something dollars. Um, or maybe like, and then it went down to 38. Um, but on Black, this was, for a while it was like $28. And then when I saw it, it was like 31. So I immediately, immediately grabbed it. And I just can't wait to play with this. Um, yeah. So I'm, this is what I've been wanting to um, play with. So I'm so excited this is here. Uh, all right. Let's get to the books. All right. So I'm not going to, uh, set this up as any in any uh way i'm just gonna grab the books and start showing them because i don't know what <laughs> i was thinking i got so many books the last couple of months so we're just gonna go through them so you've probably already seen this uh book uh on my shorts i've been posting uh one minute self-care uh shorts and this is the Johanna Basford's Small Victories. And I just love this book. This is the page that um, I was working on. And I love this book. Um, I think this, it, I think it came up at a very perfect time for me, at least, um, to have a small book that I can color a little bit at a time and not uh, be overwhelmed with like a big page project. So I I really love this. And I love, I always love Johanna's uh, books because it's good paper that I can use. This is all watercolor, not a single pencil. Um, the only thing is just like maybe paint pen or like a gel pen for a doorknob, teeny tiny uh, gold gel pen for a doorknob but the rest of them is just uh, watercolor. Uh, and that's how I like to color, so. All right, so Joanna Bassford, Bassford's Small Victories. Next, I think uh, when Amazon was doing sale on the books, uh, this 
also were available this um, miniature books for uh, Secret Garden and then the Enchanted Forest. I'm not sure if this is a um, if this is usable for me because because pretty much they um, make it from the big uh, original coloring book into this uh, mini coloring book. So the if the illustrations is already tiny in the big book, it's even tinier here. So I'm not sure how this gonna work out, but uh, this is really good size, you know, to take with me on the go. So yeah, I'm just gonna see what happens. Uh, see if it's gonna work out with this um, tiny books. All right, next is this uh, folk art adult coloring Scandinavia. And trying to find, oh yeah, it's created by Victoria Chukalina. And I love this size. This is uh, A5 size, 8.3 by 5.8 inches. And this is 94 pounds, 200 GSM paper. So when you open it, comes with this uh, card, uh, brochure, color test page, color palettes. And I don't know if you know, but I love folk art. So um, I, yeah, this is just right up my alley. And I love this. And this is a good, um, good size also, you know, when you want to take it on the go. So I'm excited to go through this book. All right. This, uh, these next set of books are these Just Add Color um, series. And I discovered these from Christina's Art Corners channel. Um, she, I think she had a one video where she was sharing um, just only this, this uh, Just Add Color series. But what I also discovered was most of these books are uh, illustrated by Lisa Congdon. And I love Lisa Congdon's uh, work. I love um, her art because I she does a lot of folk art too. So I just love them. And this is pretty thick book. Look at that. Um, but this is the small size. And so in the beginning, you'll see an example um, of what Lisa, I, I guess the, what, how she colored it maybe. Um, and then, and then this is the start of the coloring books. So if you love folk art, uh, like simple shapes um, like this, I would highly recommend uh, Lisa Congdon's books. If you can still find these, because I got these. Um, I don't think these are in publications anymore. Um, I got these used um, from Amazon. So yeah, so this first one is just at, just at color on the go. 100 designs to relax in color anywhere, anytime. So, uh, all right. So next one is the next one also from Lisa Congdon. Uh, folk art, my favorite. I love folk art. Uh, so let's see if this is easier to do it this way. There you go. This was published in 2014. Okay, let's let's see. I hope this uh, after adjusting the camera, this is better. So yeah. This is Folk Art by Lisa Congdon. Next is Geometric Patterns by Lisa Congdon. I guess this is kind of my mandalas. I don't really color mandalas, but I love coloring, I guess, patterns and folk arts. And it just I just paint and get lost. <laughs> in it so 
Yeah, so this is the geometric patterns. Next is botanicals, also by Lisa Congdon. So this is more like flowers, uh, leaves. Yeah, so that's botanicals by Lisa Congdon. Arboretum. Uh, by also by Lisa Congdon. This is just so cute. <laughs> I love this. I, uh, I can color these pages all day long. So oh, and also, I guess this is like an example. You know, I guess if you want to copy it, you can or not. Um, so this is also a, a colored page. I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one by Lisa Congdon, Wildflowers. So these are all flowers. Oh, and the, the, it also has a name on, on the bottom so you know what they are. And then this has the um, the color pages. Hold on, I think. Is there a name of the flowers? Yeah, look at that. It has flower name and Latin name. So that's very helpful. All right, this next one is called Mid-Century Modern Mania by Jen Ski. I think I saw this book in some other channels too. Um, I just never realized it's part of the Just Add Color series. So it's like furnitures, um, I guess mid-century furniture, <laughs> uh, lamps. Oh. I guess it's this page it's already colored. Yeah. Bowls. Yeah, like furnitures. So that's Mid Century Modern Mania by Jensky. Next is Circus by Sarah Walsh. So these are. I just love the um I like the like the stylized um illustrations. I yeah, it's very uh quirky. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh. There's also some colors there. So I'll figure it out. All right, so that's Circus by Sarah Walsh. And the last one in this uh, Just at Color series I got is Carnival by Sarah Walsh. And it's pretty much the same style um, of illustrations, but this is um, obviously um, Carnival and Brazil, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, look at that. Just very fun illustrations. I love this. And this is the, the whole series. Uh, this ha just add color. I don't know if you can hear that. This is very nice thick paper. It is smooth though. So um, I'm not sure what i mean i always use watercolor but if you uh use pencils i'm not sure what um pencils would be best on uh this paper i'm guessing prismacolor looks i i feel like prismacolor um good for most paper not everything but for most paper yeah very cool so that's Carnival by Sarah Walsh. Next is the Magical Unicorn Society. Um, I 
believe this is, uh, I guess, a children's um, storybook. But this is the official coloring book. Uh, the gold unicorn and the silver unicorn. So there's a um, story on the uh, opposite page. So technically you can color this, you know, if there's nothing else behind it. Um, but I thought the illustration was very nice and I, the paper is nice. So, yeah, and I th think this was part of the, um, I can't remember if it was, I, I know it was one of the book uh, sale. Um, yeah, so I thought I got this and see how they look like. And I really love the illustrations. So, yeah, so that's the Magical Unicorn Society. Next is the Matchstick Mouse, of course. I don't buy a lot of Amazon printed um, books. The only series I buy is the Matchstick Mouse because I just love this um, Morgan O'Brien's illustration. I love this mouse. Um, so I believe there's a storybook that's not a coloring book, the Merry Little Christmas storybook. Um, I, I didn't buy that, so I guess I don't need I don't need it. Uh, so I just buy this. I believe this is supposed to be the upgraded paper. The paper's a little I don't know what this is. It's a little slick. And it's I mean slightly thicker, but not that much thicker though. Uh, than the regular Amazon paper. But I know there. This book's been uh, around a while, so uh, yeah. So that's the Merry Little Christmas coloring book, and you know I have to get the winter coloring book from <laughs> Matchstick Mouse. Um, I don't use watercolor on on the water uh, Amazon printed uh, books. I just use uh, alcohol markers and I tend to just use alcohol markers nothing else unless I really feel like using pencils um, but yeah I just I just love the illustrations I will always buy mesh thick mouse all right this next um, three books I saw this uh, series on colored by Maya's channel and uh, this is Journey in Color series by um, Molly Hatch. This first one is the French Baroque. Um, it's a nice paper, uh, one-sided illustrations, and oh, look at the shoes. Uh, yeah, so these are, this, wow, look at that hat. Um, so these are, I guess, more patterns and that's jewelry, like coloring, you know, jewels. So, yeah, so this first one is the chairs. This first one is the French Baroque. Uh, the next one is Scandinavian Designs by Molly Hatch, the Journey in Color series. Um, I love Scandinavian folk art, so this is gonna be a lot of those patterns. Um, if you like patterns, Yeah, so that's it. That's the uh, Scandinavian design. And this one is the Mexican folk art. So like, I guess that's for Day of the Dead. This, um, 
and full card patterns. Guess masks, I'm guessing. Yeah, so that's the mask and folk art. All right, next is the Underwater Worlds. I, uh, by Renata Kroshrick. Kroshrick? Sorry, Renata, if I butchered your last name. Um, she, uh, Renata has that first uh, book, uh, Dreamland, I believe. And I love that book. And when I saw this um as one of the suggested books on Amazon, I immediately grab it. So yeah, so this is all underwater, all the perfect for, you know, mermaid, <laughs> mermaid hashtag. Um, yeah, it's so cute. And this is just like Dreamland. Great paper, one-sided, uh, smooth, uh, bright white. So, yeah, so that's the Underwater Worlds. Next is the uh, Kirby Rosanna's Color Universe, A World of Coloring Challenges. This is a um, compilation book. So you've already seen this in, in his other books. Um, I don't think there's a new illustrations um please correct me in in the comment if that's not correct um but i know i've seen this before in this one so yeah this is a compilation books uh it's a, a compilation book of his other you know illustrations in the past so yeah, so that's Color Universe. Uh, next is The Nature's Wisdom, Coloring Our Beautiful World by Margaret Kimball. And I can't remember where I saw this. It's probably from Colored by Maya's channel also. Um, and I just love the, this, the illustrations. Look at that. Um, look at that elephant. In a forest of a hundred thousand trees, no two leaves are alike by Paolo Guelho. Ah, and I love his books too. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really beautiful illustrations. So I, uh, you have the um, main illustrations here and the lettering on the side, the quotes. Yeah, so quotes on the left and illustrations on the right. But this is really beautiful. Um, beautiful illustrations. Yeah, so that's nature's wisdom. Next is Christmas the Color. I saw this in the, um, in the book sale also on Amazon. And I don't do a lot of Christmas books, but I was intrigued when I saw just a few pages that you can, you know, the um, examples on it. And I really love this. The paper is pretty nice, um, quite thick. And, and then I saw that um, Maya also has this book, so. So I always um, ended up buying the same books she has. And yeah, this is a really beautiful book. I love the illustration. It's not your very, I guess, common uh, Christmas coloring books. So I just, the sleds. So I love this. Yeah, I can't wait to color it. Um, next is this Happy Place coloring book um, by Carpintos. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, Carpintos. And 
this is the paper is it's okay it's not super thick but not thin either um and this is i guess my kind of uh, illustrations i love these these kind of illustrations Ah, our two coloring patterns. Meditation maze, tranquility, meditation maze, focus. Ah, okay, so I guess first part is more, um, it's a coloring workbook. Warm up work patterns, list your life patterns, joy journal patterns and meditation maze patterns and then the second part is the coloring patterns and old friends birds butterflies bugs and blooms and maze solutions ah okay so so that's new so then then you can have some workbook here workbook on the first part too so awesome yeah so that's happy place by car pintos Next is the Color Yourself to Tranquility. Um, I think I saw this book on Christina's Art Corner um, first. And this is, uh, oh, and reduce stress with these beautiful artworks of trees. Yeah, so pretty much the whole book is uh, trees. And I just love this. It's actually very calming <laughs> looking at trees, um, illustrations. So I love this and the paper is great. It's thick paper, it's smooth, uh, bright white. So yeah, I love this. Look at that. Yeah, so this is the Color Yourself to Tranquility. Next, this is an old book. Uh, it's been on my list for a long time. It's The Fairy Tales by Emily Lidhall Oberg. Um, been wanting this book for <laughs> a while. I don't know why I never got them. I got it. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, I love the paper. Always love thick paper, smooth paper, uh, off white, not bright white. And yeah, I'm sure you've all been have seen this book million of million of millions of times. So um, that's the fairy tales uh, coloring book. All right, so I thought we switch gear a bit, um, and I got some books that's not coloring books, but more. Uh, like this is folk art fusion Americana. Sorry, my camera can't go further up than this. Uh, so <laughs> and this book's a little longer than, um, I think this is longer than, you know, eight and a half by 11, but, um, so this is, uh, instruction book on how to paint a uh, folk art style. And I can't wait to try this. I love, uh, I love folk art. And yeah, so I got, I believe this, yeah, I got this used actually from Amazon. So this is the folk art Americana. Next is the Hello Watercolor by Jeannie Dixon. Um, I can't remember. I think this was always suggested on Amazon for me and let's see just techniques and brush lettering basics is um step by step projects so i it's just really fun to fun projects to try that i haven't seen in other books so i'm really excited to try this yeah, so that's Hello Watercolor by Jeannie Dixon. 
Next is this really cool uh, sketchbook idea generator. So there's, so the book's like split into this three sections and the top is the subject. The middle section is the medium or technique and the bottom is the color palette. So if you just like pick randomly, so that's going to be, you're going to, um, your subject is floral wreath, medium of your choice, and this is your color palette. Isn't this cool? I love this. This is such a cool idea. So you can just come up with so many different options. Um, subject person looking in mirror, um, medium mixed media, and then this is your color palette. So what a great idea. I love that um, uh, Jennifer Orkin Lewis, I also have her other book the, that uh, draw every day, draw every way uh, sketchbook. But um, when I saw this, I was like, oh, what a great idea. You can just pick different pages and then you can, you can come up with a completely new option. So yeah, so that's the schedule idea generator. Next, uh, this Rick Rubin's uh, The Creative Act, A Way of Being. This is not a <laughs> instructional or coloring book. This is um, a book for reading. I already actually already read this because I have Audible. I always uh, uh, read books <laughs> that way um, from Audible. But I want to have this book because it's just a, such a good reminder about our creativity and our, um, yeah, our, our creative act as, as human being. I highly recommend this book if you um, are curious about it. Next is the Complete Color Harmony uh, book by Beatrice. Eisman, the executive director of Pantone Color Institute. Um, I love this book. It talks about the, just the psychology also of, of each color and look at all the, all of these color combinations, um, what's natural or what's earthy mix. Um, and what kind of personality uh, what picks certain color than than others? Um, you know what blue represents, um, especially like um, branding. What you know, blue represents calm, and you know, red represents passions and stuff. So um, this is very useful. I think very useful books. Not that. I I need any more color combination because I already have the color cubes, but this it just coming at it, at it from a different uh, perspective. So yeah, so that's the complete color harmony. All right, this next series of books, I don't know <laughs> if I'm trying to do the, all this, I'm trying to uh, stock up books for the next five years. Um, but this is a series of this 365 days of the subject change. Um, a creative exercise for every day of the year by Lorna Scobie. Um, so this one is the 365 days of art. So the idea is you work on it um, daily, hopefully. <laughs> um, and with... Uh, prompts every single day has a prompt so yeah and I saw that I've been wanting these um, books this series of books for a long time and for some reason their their price went down um, so I grabbed all of them so we have this 365 days of art uh, 365 days of creativity Um, 365 days of art in nature. Yeah, that. 
the paper is not thick thick but not super thin either this one is the 365 days of drawing and 365 days of feel good art look at that it says for self-care and joy every day of the year perfect what a perfect book for me to use <laughs> isn't that why i'm doing this it's for self-care so right there say self-care and joy perfect before we get to the last books if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't thumbs down easy peasy and please subscribe it's that button right there it helps the channel and it's free and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when the next video is up all right let's continue to the next books last stretch of uh books here I got this um, Christy Rice's um, Cutting Garden series. Um, this is the Winter Cutting Garden. And so the book opens this way. And then you have all these um, pretty thick, uh, not as thick as watercolor paper, but pretty thick paper. And she gives instructions on how a tip on how to paint each one of them. So this is the uh, winter cutting garden and then uh, spring cutting garden. Uh, same format and in spring obviously we're gonna get a lot of flowers, right? The idea, cutting garden. <laughs> Um, summer cutting garden. Yeah, I've been wanting these books for a while. It's been on my list for a while. And for some reason, a lot of the books um, went down in prices in price. So I, this is the fall. And Christy also has a YouTube channel. I'll link her channel here um, below. All right, next is the uh, Rhapsody in the Forest um, coloring book by Kanako Igusa, I believe. I already have the um, English version, but people always say, I notice people, um, Colorists always say that the Japanese version have better paper. So I want to um, get it just so I can compare the paper. And I, yeah, I, I think this is better paper. <laughs> um, it's smooth, but it has just a slight texture. Uh, thick, not super thick, but um, thicker than you know, copy paper. <laughs> um, same illustrations. Just uh, the paper's um, slightly off-white. Um, I think the English version is uh, bright white. So, yeah, so that's Rhapsody in the Forest. Next, I, I'm trying to complete this uh, series, The Secret... Tokyo, the secret series, secret cities series. So this one is the secret Tokyo by Zoe Della's cases. Um, that's yeah. So these are houses and masks, um, and uh, kimono all the uh, traditional clothing. I guess that's Sakura. So yeah, so same 
illustration style as the other secret, um, the Secret City series. And I got the Secret New York. Yes. Um, it's it's funny seeing this because I live here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty much we all wear sneakers. <laughs> Found well, no more no more pay fun in the city, but and the cab. Walgreens, yep, there's Walgreens everywhere. Um, and the brownstones, um, Empire State Building. Yeah, so that's the secret New York. All right, I got um, the Mythographic Illusion, and I believe this is a new illustrator, Diego uh, Weisberg. Um, I've seen the flip throws on this um, book. Uh, some people didn't like it so much because the illustration is kind of, I don't know, wacky. <laughs> um, but I I just love mythographic and I, I guess I collect them. Uh, but on books that I don't gravitate as strongly as the others, I use it as um, as a practice because I'm not too attached to the illustrations. I can, I feel like I'm more free in, in trying new things. So I, if I'm not called into the illustration so much, um, I just, I tend to use the book as just, I'm, I wanna practice something. So I, I'll use this illustration as, as, um, as a practice, so. Yeah, so this is, I, I know there are plenty of flip throughs out there. So uh, this is Mythographic Illusion. And last one, this is Mythographic Labyrinth uh, by Joseph Kattenbang. I just love his illustrations. Um, and I really love this new book. It's uh, really just amazing, his imagination and just like I was going through all the mythographic books the other day and just working with one illustration, uh, illustrator at a time, just going from his like first book to now, um, how much his style has evolved. And I really, really love, look at this. This is, wow, I just, I just love this illustration. Look at that. Yeah, this is, yeah, so that's, that's the last one. Yeah, thank you for hanging out with me today. That was a lot. I know there's a lot of stuff uh, that I got this, the last couple of months. Until um, next video, I'll see you later. We can get it off. <laughs> can we get these off? <laughs> Why not? Okay. <laughs> Let's take these off, maybe.